If you want to get rich from cryptos, this is possibly one of the most important days in crypto history, or at least in 2024. So possibly a bull market now is creeping in, is knocking at the doors. When you, if you woke up this morning and you see now that Bitcoin is at 65K, about to actually go to 66K while I'm recording this, and it's possibly going to break out from this downtrend, which is very important. And what we want to really answer today is a bull market coming and when it is coming, sir. We spent a lot of time right now looking at this Bitcoin going sideways. We had some gains recently, but what we really want to know and what we really want to see actually is a bull market. This is when actually we see thousand X's and mean coins flying through the moon and all that stuff that happens when actually Bitcoin is in price discovery, which means Bitcoin is above its previous all time high. That's when it starts happening. So that's why today's video is very important. So stick around and let's get into this. Is the bull market about to come? So the first thing we want to be looking at is this thing here. So we spent a long time here, guys. Congratulations, right? This being the most boring time in crypto history ever, because this doesn't happen often, actually. 217 days sideways move on Bitcoin. Meanwhile, we did have pumps. We did enjoy pumps, but those are bonus, right? Those are not real. Actually, what's, what's the bull market is about, right? If you've seen recently the, the crazy pumps we've seen on, on meme coins, right? You've seen Breton Inc. You've seen uh, recently this SPX. You've seen Nero. These are just a pregame. This is not supposed to happen. But thank God it happened. We're happy that it happened, right? And while Bitcoin is boring. So that means also here on my channel, we're outperforming the market. And also it means meme coins are outperforming the market and will continue to do so. And especially when Bitcoin is going to break out from here, the gains that we've seen recently, the 10Xs, the 20Xs, or the 30Xs are going to become 300Xs, 200Xs, 100Xs once Bitcoin is in price discovery, once Bitcoin is here. So I'm saying this for the new people that are just joining in, never experienced the bull market. Very important to know that the best part is still ahead. And that's what we are here for, basically. Most people are still down on these ranges here. They did not really benefit much now from this cycle, they, especially if they are on utility coins that did not pump, like you got your XRP or Cardano's and stuff like that. Even E did not pump that much besides Solana and very few utility coins that actually did pump. But most of the people still haven't really tasted the gains yet. So consider yourself lucky if you are actually in deep gains right now. Anyway, so what we see here, guys, is 217 days. This never happened before. I say that again because it's actually very important. You see this again here, this range. If we take that from the all time high, right? So this is 189 days. We took this one from the all time high. This is 20, 217 days. This is 189 days. So the shocking part is even in the bear market, even from the low till the breakout is 240 days, right? So it's almost a month ahead of that one, of this one that we're in right now, which is shocking. You would see that this is usually happening in bear markets. And if we count the high here in this bear market range to the breakout is 185 days. So it doesn't happen often. So the question here, here guys, is are we going to break to the upside or are we going to stay longer in this range, right? So that's what you really want to know. Bitcoin is at 66K, 65K. Are we going to break out today or this week, right? This is the most important thing to answer now. Because, you know, if we do that, then you know what's going to happen. FOMO, greed, people are going to start buying up stuff and our bags are going to be worth 10 times more by in, in a matter of months, right? So something I've been looking at this morning, which is very important and uh, very interesting. So this line is obviously Bitcoin. And what I did was looking at previous bull markets from bottom to top. Right? So if we look at this was the 2013 bull market, if we take the low to the high, and let's say we put that, put it in blue like that, and we put it from the low here. And this is the 2017 one. And we're going to take the lowest point, which is this one. This was also a very long bull market. This was one of the longest and the best bull markets ever for Bitcoin and cryptos and stuff like that. This was it, right? If you were here in 2015 and you bought the dip, you're probably now in the, some beach in the Maldives, not looking at the charts at all. So we're going to put this one in purple, let's say. And if we put it as well around the low here, from the low of today's market, of today's bull market, and then we can add the latest bull market, which is the 2021 bull market. So we're going to take it from the actual bottom 
after the 2017 bull market to the top and let's put that as well from the bond so what we notice here guys is now obviously this is the 2013 it was the most explosive and most parabolic bull market but let's hide the other ones just so we see what happened also at the same time so what you see here is we had this peak and then some range some range and then we started picking up and if we put a line where we are now we put a line here you can see that now we're entering that phase where 2013 we went parabolic we had this last push up in 2013 where we're now here we crossed it right we crossed it almost we can even put it here and we are basically we, we should be there within next week right we should be starting this next leg up on bitcoin now let's add the 2017 one so the 2017 one was less parabolic right so each cycle we have diminishing returns right from each cycle we do get less of that parabolic move but nonetheless we still get a lot of gains so at some point the 2024 or 2025 bull market that we're on right now started a bit more explosive than 2017 then was still more explosive and almost followed it right was almost following it as well right it's just that the 2017 one was a bit more sustained of a pump or of a rally then 2024 2023 we will have a strong pump till march 2024 basically we did not stop right and now we are kind of ranging right so at the same time in 2017 we were not really we had a top then we started kind of slowly moving up but then entered this part again where 2013 started pumping and where 2017 basically also was still on this uptrend but we broke a previous all-time high or previous high on 2017 we broke it right around where we are right now right around it so right counting from the lows for, of each bull market like again 2017 shows that we need to start seeing bitcoin pumping soon right comparing 2013 bull market and 2017 bull market around the same time bitcoin should start to pump soon now now if we add 2021 and let's hide 2017 for a moment so 2021 was a bit more chaotic and let's hide the other ones and we can look at 27 20 2021 in 2021 we started even more explosive than than the one we're in right now we started more explosive then we started trending down right we started trending down here we were moving sideways while in 2012 this was 2019 back then 2019 was going down we were ranging at the same time frame then we started moving up at the same time then we seen this black swan in 2019 2020 right this was the black swan event the lockdowns and then we started seeing the recovery towards the bull market now here where we are at today we did not see any drops like that we actually kept pumping and then slowly started going sideways and we kind of now got in line with the previous cycle like we were at the same time basically but what you see here guys is you see 2019 as well shows we are close to the moment before the pump like we are almost at it like this is weekly chart this is the weekly candle with weekly chart and we need one more week to tick around so in two weeks basically we should be seeing something and as well this took a bit more like two more weeks as you can see there was a bit more time from that from that this was around 20 days let's say 20 more days before a push up and the cra crazy enough guys we are seeing so as you can see like all of those previous bull markets started pumping right around now right around where we are at right now which is q4 of their halving year which where we are right now supposedly we should start pumping now and we are seeing it so now bitcoin just did hit 66k and it's pumping that's why today's video is very important are we actually doing that now right this is what i'm asking myself now today and i'm asking you now like are we doing it now if if so then this is officially the start of the bull market right this is it like if actually this is the breakout on bitcoin and as we can see here what we see historically this is possibly the break the breakout and this is possibly the start of the bull market like literally this is what shows us right now this is what this shows us and i started looking into it basically because i seen this right so today if you wake up and you see bitcoin at 66k and you will be asking yourself what's happening why bitcoin is pumping well there is no news there is nothing really about that it's just that bitcoin is pumping that's the whole thing right bitcoin is pumping so one more thing we can look at is the halving year right the halving events so halving events are very important as well and we can see that after each halving we do see a pump we can as well count from halving to top right from halving to top what happens usually that's also very interesting to be looking at that's gonna give us another data point right so if we go back 
back to 2013 again 2013 bull market from halving to top so let's put this one in blue as usual this is the 2013 so this is the 2013 from the halving right from the halving right 2017 again from the halving let's put that here let's put that in purple and let's move it here so with 2017 we're seeing a bit more similarity with 2017 as we still are in the same range now let's add 2021 let's put that in green all right so now we have them all we have 2013 from the halving top we have 2017 from the halving to top and then we have 2021 from the halving to top now obviously we have always diminishing returns right so we're not always going to get the same parabolic move but but regardless even if bitcoin goes let's say to 150k it's still going to be a diminishing return cycle 150k is just going to be like this right this cycle at 150k we're still getting diminishing return when it comes to target but what we see here today with the halving it's more important is more interesting because now for the first time ever we have bitcoin made an all-time high before the halving this is the first time ever we've seen this maybe that explains as well why we're why we've been this long in this range right because we had the bitcoin etf and people got it overexcited started buying bitcoin we also had banks and blackrock and stuff like that buying bitcoin which maybe is the reason why we've seen this monstrous pump before the halving and now basically it's just that we're, we're getting this consolidation as people buy the dip slowly that missed out on the actual etf pump usually you would suppose we're supposed to start pumping as well right we're supposed to start pumping we're long overdue when it comes to pumps after the halving but the only reason why we're not doing that is because this is the first time we see a new all-time high before the halving on bitcoin but regardless as well we do see some similarities when it comes to that now if we disregard 2013 which was straight up monstrous pump straight up like one month and then boom starts the pumping with 2017 this actually dropped much more than today we had a, a more aggressive dump on in 2017 back in 2017 after the halving on 2017 after the halving we've seen a more aggressive dump than today and then we slowly started to recover right we slowly started to recover and then the bull market right started and it started way before where we are at right now it started we, it's supposed to be already happening now right it's, it, it should have happened a few weeks back or a few or a month ago if we look at 2017 now 2021 we also had a little bit of a drop let's hide the others so in 2021 we had a bit of a drop in range 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 you can see it's almost close but we started somewhere here that's when the pump started in 2021 it started here and we haven't started that yet in this cycle just yet now you can see with the halving we are long overdue with the halving we need to actually start seeing the pumps we should have seen the pumps like a few weeks back and if we count from lows from bots from bear market lows from bear market lows to highs then we are still in line and we need a pump soon with the pump should start to happen within 20 days we should be trending higher and start to see new all-time highs on bitcoin so as you can see guys this all shows that the possibility of us moving or starting to move into a bull market you know to actually bull trend is very high now actual possibility and the actual possibility of this was the low and now the the worst is behind us is actually very high now also if we look at the monthly now look at that and tell me how bullish that is right how bullish that is so we're almost 15 days into october and october is green you remember guys when we had this drop in the beginning of october and everybody was screaming again lows oh my god and all that usually when we start a monthly candle we'll just keep that in mind if it starts dumping then usually it's a good sign because it's gonna start pumping up later on and if it starts pumping that's a bad sign usually also with yearly candles six months candles three months candles quarterly candles usually they do start if they do start with a dump they usually end up going higher so anyways when looking at the monthly candles now it looks like maybe october is a true thing it's gonna happen october is on its way and it's gonna get us breaking now the real party starts once we break all-time high on bitcoin that's what you really wanna see right also we want to break out here we want to 70k again and then back test this maybe 65k even even worst case scenario we'll go back to 63k and then we start moving higher break the all-time high by the end of the year and then we start our promised bull market so that's how it's looking to be honest with you this looks pretty bullish this is pretty bullish the everything is pointing towards that we should see this happening soon right as i just as i just shown you now comparing cycles this looks like it should be happening right there is no reason why it shouldn't start to happen now and we're already seeing it now happening with bitcoin at 66k 
65k breaking out good bullish monthly candle things are looking pretty bright to be honest with you guys this is pretty much what we all want to see so basically guys as we have a bull market coming the plan remains the same as usual my plan remains the same i'm not changing my plans every day and i'm not trying to gamble my my bags and trying to jump from coin to coin i hold the coins that have uh, highest potential going into this bull market and i just sit on my hands this is basically the most important thing recently murad which started to go pretty viral which was the guy to call spx right this meme coin here and others that are called like meme coins which is basically just, which is basically just a way to say community strong community coins everybody says the same thing right money isn't made in trading it is made in the waiting right and that's what most people get wrong is that people often come into the market and they forget the bigger picture and that's why also i'm making this video today guys just to show you that a bull market and a monstrous one is coming and there is no need to be trying to find the new caps every day because that means you're gonna be on the sidelines most of the time jumping from coin to coin while the actual true gainers are pumping that is very important that remains the plan to me for me right i'm uh, i'm dca on coins that i see have strong potential and i'm just sitting on my hands right so i did the same with paper a long time ago you're pretty much late for that but you're not late for the paper verse narrative which means paper is gonna flip shiba in on your pretty much still early on breton each which is the lowest market cap when it comes to that narrative i also got in pretty early on many others like bonk right floki at around 10 million dollars in its market cap pretty much you're pretty much i would say you're late but now it's at 1.4 billion you're shooting for a 5x maybe but what we're really shooting for here guys is you want to find strength on a low cap below 200 million that's the most important so breath eat stands strong when it comes to that and uh i got in early on first near on eat i also have my bags packed and i'm just waiting for the bull market because i know i'm pretty much all my bags are destined to valhalla all my bags are destined to pump and to go to billions as the bull market starts we are we haven't even started the real bull market as i just shown you so that's the plan guys like just waiting now we're just that's what we're doing if you're new here if you just get a got in you still under allocated you still freaking out is the market gonna dip sir i i did not buy the dip i did not buy the 49k dip right and i remember i made a video about that and i also update i update my people on discord and i said this dip start buying 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 it's a dip this is the most important dip ever right some people are going to be in that situation today some people are going to be in this situation that they are on the sidelines they did not buy any they did not touch it ptsd from previous cycles 2021 oh my god i'm a spaghetti hands i can't really buy now i don't feel safe i don't feel that i don't feel that or some people have their their own circumstances maybe they did not have capital to invest and in. now you're on the sideline so what you need to understand is you're still early right we're still early very much if i just joined in the crypto space today if i just find out about it and knowing what i know now today i'm just gonna be slowly starting to dc into coins that i know are gonna start pumping right that's what i will be doing still early for now it is still early it might not be early few months from now like maybe three months from now you're pretty much going to miss half of the bull market or half of the game and that's pretty much it right guys so uh, bull market is coming it looks like it is about to happen honestly with you guys honestly right i, I also have a hard time believing that we're actually may finally break out from this range it's been a long time a long toxic range that we finally might see and with a good pump right so this these are all good news guys anyways you can join my discord link in the description it's free to join right if you want to get in charge also i do share low caps and we do get early into meme coins right like we got into first near on it around two million dollars in its market cap and many other examples as well you can follow me on twitter link in the description and once again thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you on the next one cheers